I mean... Oh! Blue Shell Dodge! Let's go, let's go. Okay, okay, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. No! What? What? 12 racers, 200cc, double elimination, 5 race per GP knockout tournament, and we are on custom tracks because the 200cc knockout tournament series is starting soon, and it is time to get some practice in. This is going to be tough, and we are going to be playing on the mock bike all day today. Let's see how these custom tracks play on our favorite Mario Kart modded game mode. Here we go. First track is Lunch and Tour. And yes, these are not all gonna be retro custom tracks. There's gonna be a handful of new designs. I mean, this one kind of feels like a retro custom track just because Mario Odyssey. And uh, I'm totally here for it. Let's uh, try to do our best. This one is riddled with amazing 200cc shortcuts from what I've seen. I don't know if I'll be attempting too many. I'll, I'll go for one of them if I can. That was sketch. Wow, this is going to be a wild tournament series. This is just the first race of, like, the first knockout tournament we've done in such a long time. I don't even know the last time I did a 260 knockout tournament. It's probably been, like, nine months or something. I watch out for Roxy. One for the crazy snipe. The bumpkin! Oh. Oh. Great, Roxy fell off and I got blue shelled. I love that for myself. But we're not gonna get screwed by the physics and it is important to low trick that first ramp. If you sh if you trick immediately, it shoots you like super high for no reason. Let's go. Wait, oh my gosh, I did not get enough air. I thought for sure I would get enough air. Okay, well I totally did that shortcut wrong and this is good to know. I mean, hey, it's a good thing we're doing these exhibition style knockout tournaments before the whole knockout tournament series. Gonna learn a lot of things that we would otherwise make mistakes on. Fifth place, seven points. And four races to go until double elimination. Mario's on his favorite track. And I'm not the only Mario in the room. I mean, it's pretty much all mock bikes, it looks like. Because this was not a vehicle specific tournament. Which we'll be doing some of those before. Because that's how the knockout tournament series works. Once you win with the mock bike, you can't use the mock bike. And that's kind of the beauty of it. Is we get to see plenty of winners because, you know. You end up on outside drift pretty quick <laughs> if you keep winning. Horrible start. I'm gonna spam all these. I think it's the right play. Yes, a star. Worth it. And we're just definitely gonna chain this. It's a totally different game. It's all about getting to the front. Like, if you dodge, it's great, but you can't really rely on it the same way you can on 150. Did that seriously just happen to me? I had a golden in third, and I get bombed, and now I'm back in eighth. This is insanity. Okay. Worst spot to get shocked. There's actually an item set right here. It's not a big deal. And we'll wheelie up this. Cut that inside. Ooh, double mix triple strat worked. I'm just gonna use this. Get to the next item box. Take the shortcut. It's not great, but I'm so happy I'm holding this red shell. I'm just playing really, really defensive right now. Oh, I got fourth. Look at the mini map. I think we're all on mock bike. That really shows 200cc in a nutshell. It's mock bike or bust. Looking at the bottom of the leaderboard, Ice with one, Envy with four, the only wee wheeler, Lalo with four points as well. Okay, here we go. <laughs> and I'm not tricking. I'm not tricking. I'm not tricking. Now I trick. I just don't think. I will survive if I trick. Oh wow, that went for the Yoshi. You know what? I really don't think I did that section that great, but apparently I'm in first, so I did it better than everyone else. And we'll take that to the bank, let's go. Love this new version of DK Jungle, AKA DK Ruins. It's such a joy to play this course always. And I gotta learn the big shortcut that skips the U-turn right here. I gotta learn 
that. You could skip this whole section, someone might do it right now. I don't know how difficult it is on 200, but I remember people were doing it in the Item Rain tournament series. In fact, I mean... Oh! Blue Shell Dodge! Let's go, let's go. But anyway, yeah, I mean, it was even pulled off in the Invitational. And it was pulled off right in front of my eyes. You guys probably remember, so... That was uh, very memorable, and I will do my best to learn all the 200cc shortcuts that I must in order to compete at the highest level for the tournament series. There we go. Oh, this race is working out exactly how we hoped for. Alright, that was wide, but that's okay. Our breakaway is immense, and this is what I'm talking about, about 200cc. You just gotta get a little bit of wiggle room. And then you just take off. And then the fast falling is amazing. Plus, you can start a drift at a lower speed, which is one of my favorite things about 200cc. So immediately when you get hit by something like a blue shell, just start to drift as soon as you can. I still can't believe we got a streamless blue shell dodge in the first GP. That's good signs for this tournament series. There's gonna be a lot of amazing moments. All right. That whole race is different if I didn't get the dodge. There's a mud section there, and I assume it would be slower to do it shrimless. Looks like everyone had the same idea. And we have a lot of skilled players in this room, obviously, so I'm going to learn from them as well. If I see them doing a shortcut, like a shrimless shortcut I didn't think was faster, I didn't know about, I'm definitely going to try to pick up on what I can find out from these races. This is not bad at all. I'm gonna do the shortcut. And no item, but that really balances it out, so I like that a lot. Alright. Wow. That's not good at all. Really falling far behind now. Alright, at least I got the box. I'm just gonna use this. I'm not going to go for shortcut, I actually think it's better to get a box. I'm just going to use it, I can't play games. Whoa, that was brutal. You know what, I really worked for that 6th, and 11th place just finished like that. And... Honestly, very impressed with the skill in this room so far. This is going to be a tough tournament series. I can already tell people are so much better at 200cc than they used to be. <laughs> I feel bad for the people who are on verge of elimination right now and their entire fate is figure eight circuit. And this is totally different than like the other knockout tournaments. It's like when you get in these tournaments, there's only 11 spots. And then instead of it being one race and you could be out. Oh, oh wow. Instead of it being one race, like you at least get five races to like seal your own fate. So a lot of these people got in the room and then four races in, it's like, okay, I could potentially be playing 25 more races in this tournament or I can be on my last one. It's so different than an FFA. There's no time to recover. And it's even more true in the tournament series when just one bad race and you're out. I'm gonna try to bag this a little bit. Let's see what I can do. see what happens. If I get the dodge, I'll be chillin'. Oh, I didn't get the chain. And... Ice and Lalo Salamanca eliminated Final Ted. Oh, no! We have Boo Lake, and looks like someone's already off the edge, a Bowser Jr. player, so we're not gonna be in the last here. But we're at Final 10, and... Shortcut! Shortcut! Yes! I'm gonna be doing that shortcut all the time, and I just spoiled it for those who don't know it. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. And you can do that shortcut trimless, so I will attempt it trimless if I get the chance. Wow, I'm really in eighth place after all that. This has been a wild start to a race. Burn out, do big shortcut, get to the front, back to the back. All right, here we go. Dax is going down, there's a blue shell in the air. I got a blooper, I'm deploying the blooper ASAP. 
We're just gonna use one mushroom. I'll use the second one now, and I'll use the third one right now. And I'm off the edge. Wow, the shock is insane on 200. It is insane. No business falling off right there. No business. I'm three for three in this cut if I get the opportunity. Yes, shortcut, got it. I, I always forget where that one is, but not today. It's just hard to see the exact spot to go off at. Another blooper, I'm pulling all the bloopers. Can't complain. I'm gonna play it safe, not go for shortcut just cause it's lab three. Wow. Kind of amazing that worked out. Another blooper! How can I pull three bloopers in the same race? And I did see the bullet indicator a little early and I was able to get out of the way, which is good, but th that's not a mushroom. I just pulled three bloopers in one race. This is part of my life now. What do I do now? Maybe dodge the shock, get fourth? All right, fifth place. There are gonna be plenty of these amazing 200cc shortcuts that are gonna cut massive parts of the track, so you guys have a lot to look forward to. Okay, one race down, and let's try to get a bonus. We need nine more points for this GP. Every 15 points is a bonus, so aim for 30 at least. Okay, Bowser Castle 2, one of my favorite old school retro tracks, old school shadow track, and you know, I played this track more on Mario Kart DS than I did in Mario Kart Super Circuit. But I love it in both games, and I did just snag that boost panel, which was gorgeous. Let's not fail these low tricks. There we go. And let's use a mud. Oh! That was just one of the best fibs ever, wasn't it? All right. That did not work out, and it looks like he had another red, so we were dead. It's okay, though. Oh, <laughs> Just hitting everything right now, aren't I? Okay. I gotta just use this. I only have one bonus, wow. That was not a great first GP. I kind of was just, you know, been more focused on the commentary and all the rules and all of the excitement over everything. I didn't realize I had such a horrific first GP. And I need to get away from this Mega Mushroom immediately. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And I'm getting redded again. Use it. I went for the item box and it wasn't there. I don't know why I even tried that. Stupid play. And it's over. I need a shock immediately. And I think I can get eighth. Yeah. I'm never trying that again. This race is really important now, so gotta focus. Here we go. I love this track too. <laughs> I'm the one with the weight stat, but it doesn't feel like it. It feels like Daisy has every stat. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna try to be smarter this race. And not hit anything. That's my goal. Not get redded. Play more defensive. All of those things. I'm just gonna hold this red shell. See, look at I already would have got hit by something. I'm gonna hold this red shell as well. Well, now I'm gonna throw it because that was ridiculous. Beautiful, beautiful. That's gonna. No, he had something. You, see, you guys see how good traps are on 200. I think traps are good on two. Oh, oh. You guys think traps are good on 150? It's twice as good on 200. 1.5 times as good on 200. I didn't hit that. I didn't hit that. I didn't hit that. Wow. I was bracing for impact. I feel dirty throwing that back, but you gotta do what you gotta do. I got someone with my banana. I think it was Roxy. Back to Chicago with the W. I got a bonus and I got 
a lot more of a safety net now going into the last race. Pretty much safe. Garden of Dreams on 200 CC. I'm trying to think if I've ever played this one on 200. Probably a couple times. It's been a while. So, uh, I'm mainly just concerned about pretty sure that's Zilla in first. And just gotta watch out for traps. See? Gotta watch out for traps. Gotta be smart. And gotta contribute to the traps as well. Like, I've raced... <sighs> See, I, you can't even commentate when Zilla's in first, because you're gonna get hit. <laughs> you just, it's not a good idea. I, I, I was just about to, like, congratulate myself for dodging, like, three of his traps, and then I got wrecked. And now I'm in seventh. Also, this is not the last race of the GP like I thought. It's actually only the fourth race because I've got to get used to this new format of doing five race GPs, which I actually really like. So we're going to continue doing the five race GPs, I think, on the 200cc just because the races are faster. So I kind of want to give people a little more time to acclimate and have a chance and not just get immediately booted. Getting that one extra race sometimes makes a difference. And we're going back to the old school Super Nintendo ways with the five race GPs. So I'm going to always hold down on that section when I'm using the mock bike or any sort of middleweight or lightweight because otherwise you'll hit the middle platform and then it's easy to fall off between the... No! I hate this game. I, I seriously never play this game again after <laughs> I I just get so annoyed when that happens. How many times has that happened in my life now where I press the button and the shock happens and I don't get the dodge? Like, I pressed the button and the shock happened. Like, I was getting, like, I literally am like, okay, I'm pressing it right now. And then it happens. It is just tragic. Pure tragedy. I have a red behind me. 200cc is going to be insane. I'm throwing it back. Because I've learned how you have to play. You have to play Relentless. Oh my god, you could hear it in my voice. Just pure pain. I love dodging shocks. I live for dodging shocks. That's the whole reason I boot up the game. All right. <laughs> we got Woohoo Island. I'm really sitting at one bonus right now. Did, you know what, guys? Did I, I, I maybe accidentally used one out of rage. Because I should have more than one, right? Yeah. Wow. I gotta keep track of my bonuses, they're really gonna matter in these next few GPs, especially when we get to less players and a higher percentage of the room is getting knocked out. So I can't be wasting bonuses. I have no idea how I'm down to one, but I'm sure you guys know. I'm sure you guys saw where I accidentally held the button down too long and it activated a bonus. Very common thing that happens. But uh, I've gotten pretty good at not doing it until today. But uh, that's a great pull, and I'm gonna use, the, use it for the shortcut. Use it right here. That was a cheese! That was so good! I used those two mushrooms perfectly, and the thing about this tracker. You know, 200cc in general, when you're in the off-road, you have so much speed, even when your mushroom ends, that you can get out of the off-road and then slow yourself down, keep a drift going, because the drift speed is lower. And uh, it just all works out. I was only four points away from another bonus. Oh, that was still really nice. I'll take it, 41 points. Third place, Dags and ND are out. Final eight. One of those beautiful custom tracks, the newest, Snez Rainbow. It shouldn't be too different from the others on 200, I imagine. <gasps> well, that was terrifying. That banana is such a broken spot. This track is busted for trapping. I can't even imagine trying to see the traps while playing that one. It's like, I'm missing all the items! Was that my- there's no way that's mine. It could have been. Could have been someone who had been in out and slipped on mine, I don't even know. But how did I miss all these items? The item boxes are a lot smaller. Oh, Bushel. <laughs> Never punished back in first. 
The item boxes are actually so much smaller in this game than they are in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Like, it is much easier to kind of run into an item set at any direction. It's more of like a line in Mario Kart Deluxe. You have to like try to miss it almost. But in Mario Kart Wii, there's like a significant gap between each set. So you have to be really careful. Or you miss multiple sets in a row like I did. I just got lucky because I didn't get blued. I'll take it. Oh, there might be some shortcuts on this one on 200. I'm thinking there's probably a shortcut or two. Especially with that ramp. There's got to be something you can do with that ramp. Or even cutting this corner. I would not be surprised if I get passed somewhere in the middle of this race by someone doing a shortcut. I didn't get an item again! I'm missing all the items today. We're not missing that one. Okay. I lost a lot of speed there. You know what? I'm perfectly fine being in second. <laughs> this is working. Oh, what do I do with this mushroom? Shortcut! Oh! <laughs> I thought I had just done a big shortcut and instead the opposite happened. Wow, that was incredible though. That was incredible. I am not even mad. You know what I'm realizing? There must be a setting messed up where you can only have one bonus item because it's supposed to be set to unlimited, but like I only have one bonus still. And I'm realizing now, I don't think I accidentally like clicked the button and it didn't work. One thing that's really tough about the CTGP menu is you can be clicking down arrow through all the settings, but it'll just reg register some of your inputs of being like down left or down right. And then all of a sudden one of your settings gets changed and you have no idea what it is because it's just a very, very like archaic looking menu. So I'm sure when I like went down and went through all the settings and changed it to 200, like it probably just went like down to the right and then it went from maximum nine bonus items to maximum one. That's my prediction, but it always happens to me. Like the CTGP menu is like impossible to navigate. There's all these settings that I have absolutely no idea what they do, like confusing things with no explanations. So uh, yeah, and, and then of course, like just dealing with it in general, like I press down on the D-pad <laughs> and it goes and it never, like I always have something wrong with the settings. Like this happens so many times. Like, you guys have no idea how many times I have to reset the rooms because something is wrong during the streams. But it's literally just, you have to be so careful because the, the, it's like the input sensitivity is like on ultra high. So you have to like be making sure you're pressing like the very down part of the arrow. If, if you're even pressing like the middle of a down arrow, it'll probably, probably register left or right. And you have to be really, really finicky with it. So super unfortunate because I was I was hoping to stockpile a bunch of bonus items but now I can't really do that I think I'm gonna get a good spot here let's see maybe a dodge no dodge but I'll take fourth place that's really good the show goes on and I'm at 22 points so can't complain third place overall race four of five Oh gosh, this track. I think I'm just gonna hold up and not even really attempt too many low tricks. We'll see, we'll see. Oh, I love this item so much. Wow, I got bumped into the wall at such a weird angle. Alright, here we go. That's good. That's actually good. And I lost all my greens, but I'm just gonna escape. Get away. Oh my god, I actually dodged the pal. I actually did it. That was incredible. I'm just gonna take over first. No! I was just about to trap that and people dodged. Zilla dodged. Wow. I got over 30. 
solid GP. I'm safe for sure going into the last race. And Gale Laser, Cran, Lag, 1422, and a lot of trouble. And 64 Rainbow Road, brand new version. They off Mario Kart 8. And let's get this show on the road. <laughs> Terrifying. This is such a cool track, though. I'm really... Ah, I thought I would have got him there. Really like this one. I feel like it does everything right, and I'm okay with it being two laps because it's so good. There's bananas. I was I was about to say, gotta watch out for the bananas. They could be anywhere, and they're gonna blend in so well on this track. That was just cruel. Like all of that happening in a row in succession like that. 200 CC. It almost makes me want to use Flame Runner just so I could bump people around a little more. Because I'm getting bumped around like crazy. Alright, that's fine. I'm gonna spam these and maybe get a star. Golden. Into a fake item box. Gotta spam this immediately. Gonna miss the chain. This is completely useless considering there's boosters everywhere. That sucks. Ugh, I almost don't even want to get this box. I know it can't be a bullet, but I will spam this star. Gotta use this. Maybe I can get a bullet, right? Oh, that shortcut was nice. I'm back in it now. I'm seriously back in it. Look at these pulls. Look at these pulls. These are some godly items. That track's incredible though. Like, it plays well in every game mode and it looks gorgeous. Results are in. Cran, Gale Laser, eliminated. Final six. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Brand new GP and the stress is back. We got Wario Stadium. And this is such a long course. Doesn't matter what CC you're playing. That was a really good start. Nice. It's going really well so far. Just got to be smart. Keep playing some strategic traps. And Roxy avoided my traps, it looks like. And I'm not tricking off anything just until I feel comfortable even driving this truck on 200cc. I am not comfortable yet. All right, Zilla's in first, and still a good start. Honestly, this track's so long, I'd be surprised if there wasn't a blue shell. Wow. Shock already? Okay. Whoa! This is actually such a good pull if I can keep it. There we go. Going wide, I'm going wide. I'm not messing around. I'm just kind of banking on blue shell. I'm not going to even try to snipe him. I feel like there's a better chance the green would hit me than hit him. Just going to throw them back periodically. Beautiful. Yeah, see, this track plays nice on 200. I, it's like one of my least favorites on 150, but I like it on this game mode. I'll throw these reds forward just because the POW got to capitalize potentially here. It could connect. I think it connected, yeah. Awesome. I'm in first now. <laughs> There was a fake item box that inside. Wow, I did not expect that. I was like, I was like, there's not gonna be anything that inside. Oh, I'm so mad. Let me just get second. I can't complain. All right, I'll take second, but could have got first that race. Oh, no main turbo. Double main turbo. 
Beautiful. Go for the wide box. Curve inside. Get the lead. Nice. And it looks like... Yeah, Zilla got redded by Roxy. I'm just going to throw these back. Yep. Just try to, try to create some separation between me and second and third. It's so important on 200. And I'm really going to learn the 200cc meta before the tournament series even starts with better players. Got someone with my banana nice. Just because it does change quite a bit when you're playing people who actually know how to play 200cc well. And that's going to be pretty much everyone entering, you know. The game mode's been out for years now. It's not like back when we used to play it and only been out a year or less. Oh, I was trying to get my main turbo off. I, you could actually dodge a blue shell with a main turbo if you do it perfectly. And I was almost there. I, if, I, if I would have just had an extra half a second, I could have maybe done it. The timing's really finicky. Alright. Still feeling really good about this race, even though I'm in fifth. That sucks. That was a nice mushroom, though. this course break oh gosh that's so scary okay okay I'm good I'm good I'm good no what what that was so cruel here I am thinking the race is over, and then he throws it off the sign, and I get ricocheted, and I lose a spot. I am upset. If last race taught me anything at all, it's that I'm not nearly focused enough. Like, you know, when you're playing some of the best players in the entire world, like the former best custom track player in the world, anything can happen. So uh, you gotta not count out anything until you hit the finish line. I'm really going down here. This is so much slower, I guarantee it. And like, what is that? What is that? Oh, didn't hit the wall. Okay, you know what? Went better than expected. And I pull a blooper back to the first race of the, <laughs> the video. <laughs> yeah. I think it was three bloopers on Boo Lake or something like that. Yeah, it was stupid. Got no box. That sucks. Scary. I'm getting blue shell. I break so much. Uh, and I'm getting no box. This is like one of those like super ultra painful races that you forget can happen, but then it happens and you're like, oh yeah, this is Mario Kart. The pain never ended that race. It, it just never ended. Even right there, it made me big at the worst time. I couldn't even get around the corner in time. Could have probably got fourth, but nope. Last place. This track is so good. Doesn't matter what game you're playing. The most like boring named track, but it's such a good one. It's a weird start to this race. not do that in time. Is this, how worth it is this? It's not bad. Could have done it better. Oh, I thought that went right through Haper, honestly. All right, we're doing the shortcut this lap. Gonna be smart, and I'm getting bombed, and I'm gonna back up, because the items are right here, and I'm in the last, or fifth, actually. There's Act in last, now I'm in last. Okay. Beautiful. This is what I've been waiting for. I've been waiting for this. Well, now I have to use this. I have to use this because of the penguin. That sucks. At least I got a chain. This is still good. I just have to try to not fall off on these shortcuts. <laughs> try to make sure I don't fall off. Are you serious right now? 
Are you serious? Okay, I still got third. I'm good, I'm good. I'm learning a lot playing 200cc. I'm learning how difficult this is and how safe you have to play. It's kind of like Mario Kart 8 Deluxe 200, oddly enough. All right, so lag 1422 is out. We are at the final five. This is gonna be so fast, okay? <laughs> My new strategy is the homing track. Whoa! Gonna have so many crazy physics moments like that over the next month. This is what I needed. Let's take Roxy down. Okay, a little wide, but that's actually not bad at all. Still a really fast lap. Did not connect with the green, it looks like. Not worth it to trick, I just tested it. We were already safe, and it's really interesting how that all happens because the point distribution changes going into the last race because of the elimination that happened. Once you get eliminated, you don't play for fun anymore. This game mode is harsh. Mr. Bean designed it harsh. <sighs> Act is out, and we have our final four. Cortex Castle, semifinals, and good luck to everyone. Cause this is gonna be so fast paced and I haven't played this track in forever. So I'm trying to remember the layout. Okay, it's this way. Like seriously, it's been a year since I played this track. Maybe even longer. I, I can't even remember the last time I played this. You guys would know better than I would, honestly. But I have it, I have it down now. I know the ending from here. The beginning section is a little confusing cause it all looks the same. Okay, we hit the wall. But the good news is the shortcut's right here. How do I not get that? It does not seem that hard. It really doesn't. I don't know why that didn't work. I uh, I do know it goes from like flat to a ramp, and whenever you change elevations like that, and there's no curvature, it makes you bounce a bit. So you might get the trick not when you expect. So if you get like a lower trick, or you get a trick at a different angle, it's gonna give you a different landing, uh, you know, landing opportunity. I mean, like I landed way too far to the right right there, so I need to make sure I do this correct for next lap. This is extremely important to know this shortcut. <laughs> I'm making mistakes everywhere. It's extremely important to know the shortcut for this tournament series. All right, that's good. I pulled that because I would have been dead. Okay, okay, you know what? We're actually doing okay here. I'm in first, I'm in second. That actually worked. I did not do a trimless though. I used my golden because I had a little bit left. I was like, might as well. Lap three, here we go. No! Well, at least I hit Zilla with my fake item box, but I got slow owned! Did not expect that Mega Mushroom, I really didn't. I'm just gonna use this immediately when I land. <sighs> Let's go! It's only top two for the end, so I need to get second. I mean, look how many points. It's a 10 point difference between second and third. You know, I would have been getting four instead of nine. Big, big difference. I can make it! Oh my gosh. Toad Raceway. I'm gonna bag, I'm gonna bag. I got the fourth place box. Trouble mushrooms. That's exactly what I wanted. Shortcut time. Are you serious? This is actually so funny. I would say the shortcut is tougher on 200 than it is on 150. And I mean that, like I definitely mean that. Cause it's, <laughs> now I'm getting a blooper. Now I'm getting really punished. Wow. It's not over though, it's not over. And now I have the item I want to win. So I'm just gonna hold this. I'm very scared though. I need to make this, I need to make this.
you go too far. Like, you actually go too far on 200. I did not want to make the shortcut and shoot into the wall and get redded. Shy Guys Market, Shy Guy Bazaar in the Mario Kart games, as we all know. Or actually, it's only in Mario Kart 7 now that I think about it. I don't know if I'll be able to keep this, but this is good. It's just really hard to keep items like that. Like, on 200 in general. So, uh, looks like Zilla fell off in first, probably got gapped, because that can happen on this track. They got a box. Did not connect. And I'm taking the little inside lane here to get the boost panel. I'll lay a banana. That was really good. I'm gonna... Wow. That's probably what happened to Zilla. Wow. Okay, I'm just gonna slow down so much going into that ramp. That ramp is clearly not made for 200cc. Like, what even was that? We're gonna be learning for the first, like, <laughs> 20 hours of playing this. Just me learning. Like, most of these tracks I have not played really on 200cc more than a couple times. Because the updates happen so frequently. Let's see what happens if I trick here. Alright, I still have my bonus. I haven't even used the bonus. I haven't had to use it yet, but it's gonna be uh, really close here to see if I make it to the finals. This is another one of these tracks that was made for 200cc and not 150. That's what it feels like. Wow. I was actually faster. Let's go, let's go. I did not expect that to work. And of course I just hit the most random wall possible afterwards. I think the player in first is the one I have to beat. I didn't see the name tag. Yeah. I think so, yeah, yeah. Yes, it's Roxy. Okay. Getting blue shub. But so is Zilla. Pretty surprising. Wow, 200cc is insane. <laughs> Can't control this. But it makes me feel good knowing, like, it's not like I'm falling behind too far. Like, I'm in every single one of these races. It's just ridiculously hard to control in general. I'm just gonna use these right away. Alright, well I didn't get the chain, which sucks, and I'm getting back greened. I mean, this is really bad for me. The good news is I didn't get redded, so... Second place is still very possible for me in this race. I'm using this. Guys, I did not mean to do that. I was trying to wheelie, and now I have to go this way. I have to use this. I'm gonna use this. This is horrible. Look how far ahead the other players are. I'll use my bonus, I guess. That's fine. really bad oh I have to get first and Roxy has to get last that's the only way I make it to the finals Hafer is out final three. Oh, all right the randomizer decided n64 rainbow road again it's kind of a good thing for me <sighs> never mind never mind all right we're playing this one from the back. I'm going for shortcut. Okay, so it looks like Zilla went for shortcut as well. 
due to the trap. Alright, I hit Roxy. That's huge. Now, I need Roxy to get third. But I have to get first. It's a really tough situation. And my blinker is going off. He's not that far ahead, it's just there's nowhere to really make mistakes on this track as long as you're paying attention. So I kind of have to do a shortcut. He fell off. I got the low trick. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! Yes! I survived by one point! Oh my gosh! That was not even a perfect ending. I was so nervous. <sighs> Roxy is out. I thought we were gonna tie. I did my math wrong. I wasn't even thinking. Yeah, third place only gets two points in a three player room. Oh my gosh. I'm in the finals, me versus Zilla. Wow, that was a miracle. I'm still riding the high of the adrenaline from last race, but it is the finals. And this is one of my worst tracks. So I have to focus. <laughs> I already made a mistake. How am I in the finals? I'll lay a banana here, it's a good spot. Nice try Zilla. But he also made a mistake and oh my God. I just took the best line of all time. Yeah, this track's really hard, guys. This track's really, really, like, out to get you. And there's not many custom tracks that are retros that feel as difficult as this one on 200. And, uh, it looks like, you know, it's very possible Zilla is playing this track for, like, the first time online. Because <laughs> there's no way to play Worldwides, and I don't think Zilla plays, like, 200cc, uh, competitive. So, I'd imagine Zilla is experiencing this absolute ridiculous monstrosity of a retro course <laughs> and is paying the price because this track has a massive learning curve to it a massive learning curve and it's it's all about mitigating the damage every single corner and break drifting and playing it safe and just understanding the bounciness of it all like look at this last corner I tried to do that slow and I still fell off and it takes the bottom route this lap, okay. And <laughs> poor Zilla. I probably will never have a lead on him again like this. <laughs> but uh, it is not over, considering I just hit that, so I need to focus. I think it's best to go around like this. That feels good. There's only one banana there now, okay. And yeah, he's having trouble with that section. I'm looking at the minimap and he's going backwards. <laughs> well, that was it, it was such a hilarious like first race to the finals, like after such an intense last two GPs. Like I survived by one point, and the whole point distribution changed mid GP for the second time. Okay, here we go. I gotta win two more. One to zero versus the three wins. Snez Rainbow Road round two. Lots of rainbow roads today. <laughs> okay, so a lot just happened. Uh, first off, the the thwomp. I need to get better at the timings. That is an extremely important thwomp to have the timing down for. Second, Zilla fell off twice. And I'm just going to go around. There we go. Slay banana there. And I pretty much have this wrapped up unless he gets a blue shell, and I just have to make sure I don't hit anything obvious. <laughs> I think what's happening is he's going for the ramp shortcut, and he's overshooting it. <laughs> or, or he gave his brother the controller. <laughs> One or the other. Yes, this is the same Zilla who literally won every single... <laughs> Zilla gets minus 15 for trolling. He's a lap behind. <laughs> 
Oh, I survived that. I gotta see what's up. I, I, I gotta ask him what's going on. <laughs> SNES Mario Circuit 2. Okay. So I'm up 2-0. One more and I got this locked away. I thought that would connect, it didn't. Uh, I should have held that longer. So, I am positive that he does not know 200cc lines. Because he just overshot that Trimble shortcut too. For this Trimble shortcut, you don't want to jump and wheelie through it. You just want to drift through it. Because you get so much... So much speed. Oh, nice slips, nice slips. Triple slip, all three laps. Let's go. Oh, he's right there. Gonna lay a banana right here. <laughs> oh no! Oh, I was really hoping to dodge that. I feel like I was just a couple frames away from dodging that one. Okay, and the show goes on. Oh no, this track has so many blind corners. If he gets in front, he's gonna get so many trapping opportunities. I wanna get into first. Oh, I took my box, of course he did. I'm going this way. He's gonna catch me right here with the boost panel. <laughs> oh, I tried so hard to squish him. What was that? What was that? Alright, so... You guys saw what he did to me last lap. I wanna do the exact... Oh, these fake item box throws are malicious. I wanna do the exact same thing to him. Well, now I have to throw this. Got a mushroom from my bonus. Got him! <laughs> Good game, Zilla! And we get the epic victory music, and he might have won like every single GP, but it's all about not getting last. And the 200cc tournament series will feature Nintendo tracks as well with 80 custom tracks. It is gonna be insane, and I cannot wait. Good games, everyone, and thank you for watching. Smash like, and I'll upload plenty more of these.